sir that is why you will hear the atheists will say if you really say god is love why do little children die mercilessly how can a good god allow evil things happen to good people that is the question in the mind of people who don't want god they feel how can there be a god anywhere and children die at birth and women struggle a boy said to me i saw my mother dying i cried and i said god if you really are there please let my mother stay i don't have a father i don't have anybody oh god i beg you and my mother still died how can i believe in that kind of god that is the question in the mind of people that don't like your church that is the question in the mind of people that don't come to church because we preachers have preached a god of judgment and a god of love how can they trust a god who has the tendency for evil and the tendency for good what kind of a double-minded god why is god so mentally agitated why can't he maintain a consistency we don't want that kind of god the world is asking questions they are in dire need of answers you want me to serve your god you want me to serve your God? A God that destroys men. How can I serve you? It's even better I stay with Satan. You hear people say such things. And it's because we've not been able to defend the character. The single character of God. And it's easy. It's because the Bible you read, you didn't understand it. You saw he kill it and make it alive. And you thought it was God. But you didn't study well to see that that was the impression of the author. You ready, give it and take it away. You thought that that's the dual nature of God. But you didn't read well to see that that was the impression of a fallen mind by the name Job. You read and you saw that the Bible said, can evil happen and God has not caused it. You didn't read clearly to see that that was the impression of Amos the prophet. These were their impressions. Why? No man has seen God at any time. So since they have not seen God, in their writings, they added their impressions. In the Old Testament, if something happens that cannot be explained, they concluded it must be God. That's where our legal system got it from. Where they say natural disasters are an act of God. The legal system of Nigeria believes, in fact globally, that natural disasters are an act of God. They got it from the Old Testament impression of the prophets. If natural disasters are an act of God, why will jesus rebuke the wind and the waves why didn't he say more wind more waves because this is an act of god jesus is god who came to introduce god's character he looked at the wind and said Shut! peace be still and there was a calm because god does not function through natural disasters all god does is to stop them to the degree to which you allow him to stop them He has no pleasure in death. He is life. I am come that you may have life. That's God's character. Jesus. I love Jesus. You know, Jesus is God in human flesh who came to help man understand God. That's why he came in humanity because his target is man. So he came in man's form. So in man's form, he can explain God to man. So man can understand God. So that man and God can be a family. Jesus showed up. While people are thinking about God being the one behind evil and disaster. And cancers and ulcers and high blood pressure. And thinking it is God teaching them a lesson or punishing them. Jesus showed up and walked among them and said. The thief cometh not. But for to steal. To kill and to destroy. Meaning I am not the killer. I am not the stealer. I am not the destroyer. I am light and my job is to expose darkness. So let me expose who is behind death, who is behind stealing, who is behind destruction. Let me expose him. He is called the thief, the thief which is the devil. But this is what I do when I come. You have life and have it more abundantly. Am I teaching good this morning? I'm come that you may have life. 